Okay, so the first question I have is, what are your current inspirations, like your heroes? What, what things inspire you in terms of the new design and the collection of TW Steel? Well, that's a, that's a good question. Um, I think uh, inspiration comes from everything uh, okay. and everywhere. I think, of course, you know, if, if I would have to pick one major point, it's definitely yeah. traveling around the world and meeting, uh, you know, meeting consumers and meeting retailers. Okay. Uh, they are, in, you know, day to day in touch with, uh, you know, with with the people that actually are buying our product. So to get first-hand feedback from them just gives me a lot of information on what to do, uh, you know, the next uh, in the next phase. Uh -huh. But I think just in general, like I said, uh, you know, from 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 fashion shows to you know everywhere, I, I get inspiration of what people like and what what for us the next thing is is what we have to do. All right. My next question is: Do you have plans to enter the high-end luxury market for timepieces, or are you going to stay within your market? Well, we are definitely going to stay within our market. I mean, this is where we are very strong. This is where uh, you know we have a lot of success. Mm -hmm. So you know, for us, it's uh, it's you know, I would say never change a winning team. You All know, right. I mean, I don't, don't pretend some somebody that you're not. And I think uh, if we all of a sudden going to do you know high-end pieces that. You know, it's. I think we're going to lose our touch a little bit, and uh, you know, this is what we're known for, and uh, this is what people expect from us. Okay. My third question is, what's your favorite social media hashtag for TW Steel? If you're going to click a hashtag, you know that this is TW Steel. This is what you would want people to keep on using. Well, then of course it's hashtag TW Steel, but that's uh, too obvious. Uh, yeah, there's not one in particular. I mean, we used to always have big time, but it's, uh, uh, you know, we still use that a lot. Um, but I think it really depends also on the on the campaign that we're running. Okay. I mean, yeah. I think nowadays, of course, with hashtags, I mean, there's people that use hashtags like, you know, all the time. So if you want to, if you want to stay top of mind, you have to make sure that you use that hashtag and that it's then being used all the time and okay. on a frequent basis. So right now we're really doing, if we do a campaign and we use certain hashtag and when people click on it, we make sure of course that, you know, that hashtag is actually a little bit claimed by TDB still. My next question is, 10 years. So yes. is your father still involved with TW Seal? What part? My father still is involved with the design. Okay. Uh, you know, he's been doing that from the from the beginning and uh, very successful. So I hope that he uh, he stays on for uh, for a lot longer. Okay. The last question and two personal questions of mine. So this one is for the website. One is if a person is into TWC, what are the three signature collections that you would want that person to have? Well, if you if you first enter TDB Steel, you have to have a canteen style. Okay. That is no question. Canteen style is what we started with. That's really the signature piece for uh, for TDB Steel. Um, the second one I think is the tech model. Is with the, the the pillars on the. Okay. Also a very signature piece for uh, for TDB Steel. Mm -hmm. uh, something that's very unique. Uh, or, you know, a unique creation. And then the third one, you know, to be honest, I mean, then it's really up to the people to uh, to make that decision and to choose what they what they want to complement their collection with. You know, I mean, they can choose another canteen, or they can choose a pilot, or a diver, or uh, a CEO model. It really then depends on uh, on uh, you know what they want to add to the collection. The two personal question: What do you like about the Philippines? You've been here for the past ten years, so yeah. Um, what do I like about film? I mean, but besides that, it's a, you know an amazing country. Of course, I think uh, people. I think if you look at Asia as a whole, I think mm -hmm. in the Philippines they are, I think most Western orientated. You know, they're very, very fashion orientated. They 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 uh, they look a lot what is happening in in other countries. Uh, I think also here, you know, people that you know, everybody speaks English. I think here people are very well educated on uh, on uh, on that level. So I think that uh, makes it easier, of course, for for uh, for a Western person to do business here. And my final question is: If a Filipino becomes interested to join your team, I mean, with the ne Netherlands Amsterdam head office. Would you welcome the opportunity for? I mean, there's no restrictions where people come from. You know, we always welcome talent, whether they come from the Philippines or from, 
you know, New Zealand or from uh, South America. Talent is talent. It doesn't matter where they come from. All right. That will be it. Happy birthday, Jordi. Thank and you. thank you for coming here for this event. Thank you for having me. And we look forward to you coming back here in the Philippines. This is Titanium Time. Thank you. Thank you.